True Blue Ape in review with Wade Randolph. Um, what is saffron? I'm just mad about saffron. Okay, what do we got this week? Seared salmon. Crispy chicken. This one would have gotten a perfect score, but it was dark meat. I don't like dark meat. I don't get down with it. Pork meatballs. Hope you like beets because uh, everything tastes like beets in this. What's it gonna be? Seared salmon. Um, oh, saffron's mad about me. Yeah, it was like a lot of chopping. It was. This is like it's potatoes and carrots and fish. Carrots like suck to cut, right? Uh, who's with me? Have you guys heard about this yet? Carrots they suck to chop. You cut them and then they they roll. They just roll away. Um, so I'll give prep three, two. Let's give it two because it was like you know, man, fuck prep. Prep should always get less than three because prep sucks always. It's never fun. Two. I'm just mad to cooking. Um, right? Yeah, cooking. Saffron. She's cooking was cool. You know, they keep doing this thing where it's like. Use the use the pan, make the whatever, and then wipe it out and use it again and make the whatever else. And I have I have two pans. I should just be like People are still driving Volkswagen bugs. I should just use two pans, you know? That would be cool. But that would probably burn something or fuck it up in some way. Too many S's in English. Saffron, a plant having orange stigmas. The dried stigmas used as a dye and flavoring. The fuck, that doesn't tell me anything. Oh, I guess I gotta go to the internet. Oh, come here. Come here, little baby. It's a shady episode. Saffron is used for asthma, cough, whooping cough, that's, and loose and phlegm. Men use it to prevent early orgasm. Some people apply saffron directly to the scalp for baldness. Saffron sounds like a magic, magical drug. Magical spice. Some people say saffron tastes slightly bitter to them, while lending a semi-sweet taste to the dishes to which it is added. Some say saffron has a faint honey flavor, while others swear it tastes like the sea, which you always are looking for in a dish. You want everything to taste like the sea. Okay, I don't know. I, I, so it seems to me that saffron is the most overrated spice. Cooking gets... I mean, I used saffron for the first time, but then they did do the, the pan thing. I guess a four. It's just mad about me. Taste. I forgot to do taste. I'm going back. You don't know because it's edited, but I forgot to do taste. <laughs> maybe I don't taste anything. Maybe maybe I'm the last person who should be reviewing Blue Apron. Not maybe. I am 100% the last person who should be reviewing Blue Apron meals. I liked the carrots. I liked the potatoes because I cooked them for a fucking long time. There's nothing worse than... Uh, undercooked carrots and potatoes. Nothing, not even genocide. I should come clean about this. Anytime there's cilantro in anything, I, I, I take it out of the fridge and I open the plastic container that it's in and I throw it in the fucking trash. Boom, cilantro. You just got weighted. Cilantro, cilantro tastes like soap to me. So I don't use it. I'm not gonna use it. They should just stop. They're wasting all their money sending me this cilantro. I will give this. Whoa, hey, fuck, Jesus, cat fight. Uh, I'll give it a, uh, what, what am I talking about? I'll give it a five for taste. Fuck, who knows, five. They call me mellow yellow. A reheatability. Quite right. They call me you know, you've heard me say it before, fish dishes are weird to reheat. Um, the yogurt sauce, I left it in a bowl and it kind of got hard. And reheatability, it was, it was easy enough. It gets, 
gets dinged a star for being a fish. Sorry. Life isn't fair, seared salmon with glazed carrots and saffron yogurt sauce. Four reheatability. Four stars. Hello, hello. Ugh, these cats. Can you see them? <sighs> so stressful. I don't know how people have kids, man. I can't even... Cats are driving me bananas. Every, everything is kind of relative, and I hate to do this, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to judge it based against the failures of, of its brothers. Crispy chicken and pork meatballs. They were so, so underwhelming and so boring that they made seared salmon look great when in any other week seared salmon you know would have just been a been a been a an afterthought if that makes any sense because these other two are so bad seared salmon gets a four normally i think it would be a two or a three i shouldn't qualify that because now i'm tainting the review but i'll give it a four Thanks, thanks for watching. Whatever. Nobody watches. Trump is the president now, and and Facebook is, is... Everyone's quitting Facebook because no one will shut the fuck up about it. It's like... Yeah, move on. Like, I do it very quickly. When my computer dies or something like that, it's maybe an hour of me going, oh, fuck. Um, and yeah, I know it's going to be four years of this, and... And everyone's like doom and gloom right now, but uh, I think like, um, you know, donate to donate to some of your charities if you if you're gonna be a fucking. How about every 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 time you you want to go on Facebook and bitch about something, you you put five dollars in a jar and and then you donate it to to whatever charity that you feel like supporting because none of your friends want to hear that shit and the ones who do want to hear it already agree with you so fucking. Grow up, move on. Thanks for watching. You know, no. I'm just mad about fourteen. Our fourteen's mad about me.